Hello, my name is Carl Surrey and this is a video tutorial for the Facebook group called Fans of Serif Software. Now I'm going to be looking at adding extra styles to both Affinity Photo and Affinity Designer because they work in exactly the same way. Um, so I'll do most of the work in Affinity Photo um, with just a brief look at Affinity Designer just to show you that it does work in the same way um, and styles is one of the tabs that is along here in the layers adjustments effects then styles and by default on the PC version at least I, I can't vouch for the Mac version but on the PC version you get six styles ready made um, so just to show you how these work what I would do is I would just put a background in here like so and then I'm just going to add a bit of text and I'll just put in hello just reduce the size slightly just so it fits on the page there we go right so you can this will work if you, you can sort of add it to a, a, a photograph but it a lot of the time it will not have too much of a major effect it sort of works best on backgrounds and text from the limited use that I have tried them on so all you need to have is either the background or the text layer highlighted I'm going with the text first of all come to the style and if you click on the style that text will change to that particular style and you don't really have much control over sort of the effect other than I'm guessing when you come back to the layer you could probably alter the blending modes and alter the opacity um, but beyond that you don't sort of have any control than how the style has been set um, and like I said you can there are six available by default and there were no others in this drop down menu I have since added some um, so I've got this metals style here and what I'll do is I'll add these to the background layer so I need to highlight that background layer come back to styles and if I click on that it will affect the background accordingly so then as you can see these styles are obviously made up of pictures of whatever it is that they've in this case like metal textured metal and some coins and I think this one is the Apple Mac symbol so this is how you can use the styles and I have added some couple of other ones here which they're just variations on the similar theme so I'll come back to the default thing for now because the whole point of this is how to get more styles um, now if you do an internet search I'm sure that you could probably find them elsewhere but probably the easiest place to find some more styles and brushes or whatever for that matter is the affinity forum now I will add a, a link to this in the description in this video but it's fairly easy to find it's just affinity.serif.com forward slash forum now one of the options in the forum is resources you click on resources and here you can get some new brushes and templates and um, so like there's a flower brushes there that one there looks quite interesting. I haven't actually downloaded this one yet, the Daub Mosaic one. 
but the ones that I have done is the 32 alien bitmap styles which is the ones that I have downloaded and that metal one as well it's it was here somewhere I think it's further down but there's like there's rust styles anything that's got styles on the end of it really it'd be okay to look at we've got some metal styles that's probably the one that I downloaded I think and the one I'm going to look at that's quite interesting is this wild animal texture style and there are sort of lots of comments about how good or not they are but the normally the first one gives you a little image of what they will look like and a link to download them and they will download as a zip file so I'll just click on that and then save it's finished downloading it's that quick so and then I've got this wild animal text just dot zip now before I go ahead and install this I'm going to do a virus scan and whatever you want it first so I will just pause the video and and then I will be back after um, I've um, done a scan but first what I'll do is I'll just extract this extract all and then so I now have this and I will do the virus scan on this and the unzipped one before I actually go ahead and install it so like I said I will just pause this and then I'll be back in a second right okay I have done the virus scan and that is now sitting there waiting to be installed into affinity photo or designer so what you need to do to install them is to you come back to the styles tab and in the right hand corner up here there's a little box if you click on that you get a menu and then you want import styles category and then all you have to do is to navigate to where you have it installed and it is wild animal textures in my case and um, the file will end in dot af styles so just click on that and then open and then as you can see these styles have now been installed and if i put this on the text i think go back to style so i can have a zebra effect well that's quite giraffe yeah, so pheasant, cheetah, must be, I quite like the zebra one, I thought that was quite effective, stands out quite well. So just to prove that this works in Affinity Designer, I'll come to Designer, and I have a background set up here already, come to Styles, and as you can see I've already ins installed the other ones that I had, but to install that same wild animals one I'll come to import styles category and wild animals and you can see there is a Mac version here as well so the PC version would be the one outside of a folder and I'm guessing the Mac version is inside that folder um, and then click open and just make sure this background layer is highlighted because the, the styles won't work unless a layer is highlighted and then I can have a background or text or whatever with these various different styles so that is that really it's basically it works best in my opinion on text and then backgrounds and to a lesser extent images but they're easy to find especially on the affinity forums and you probably find them elsewhere on the internet and um, they're easy to install and easy to use so hopefully this has been of some help thank you for watching and goodbye